Hello folks, welcome back to Math at Barnes & Nobles. Today I'm going to show you a very nice way to make the divergence theorem almost obvious. So uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Gauss's divergence theorem. Okay. So what does the divergence theorem state, first of all? What does it say? It says that um, if I have some kind of a solid, so let's say I have some kind of a solid, okay, and we'll call this solid uh, V, and we'll call the surface enclosed by this solid S, just so that I can get all the variables in here. We'll call this surface S, and we'll call the boundary enclosed by this surface delta S, okay? So what Gauss's divergence theorem says is that if I take if I take the line integral over uh, over the surface, what do I get? Uh, if I take the line integral over the surface, so f dot ds, um, what I'm going to get the flux out of this surface is going to equal the divergence out of each little small part of this surface so let me show you what i mean so if i have this surface again i'm going to have this surface again the divergence theorem says that if i slice and dice this uh solid into many small pieces let's say i slice it into many cubical pieces like this okay so each one of these just this is just uh, a picture for now but you should know that each one of these little uh squares is actually a cube okay but the same idea holds divergence is a measure of how much things are leaving a certain area a certain region so for example if i have a source here and this source emits some kind of a fluid this would be a source and instead if i have a net inwards flow this would be a sink right that's what divergence is all about here the divergence would be positive here it would be negative so divergence is a local quantity so we're saying that if i calculate the flux this by the way is just flux in fact another way i could write this maybe that would be more obvious if i uh, if i take the vector field and here's a vector field that this solid is embedded in and i integrate if if and i integrate the dot product of this vector field with the normal vector at the surface at every point what the divergence theorem tells me is that this integral of all the dot products of the vector fields with the normal vector is going to be equal to the divergence of the vector fields evaluated at each single little point within my solid add it all up and so this is going to be equal to the triple integral of the divergence of the vector fields over this volume v so that's hopefully gives you another perspective on the gases divergence theorem. We'll check you out in the next one, sponsored by Brilliant.org.